Hello ladies and gentlemen, stay healthy. We are very happy to be given the opportunity to present our technical article that we offer specially in this 6 ECMC event organized by Splash Marat State University Surakarta in collaboration with our field partner PT Pembangkit Jawa Bali in the framework of PGP Connect 2020. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Andri Bagusasongko. I'm the first author for this technical article. I work for SKF and in charge in engineering department. The second author is Mr. Budi Priya Udomo. He is our expert in condition-based maintenance. And the third one is Mr. Joko Sulistio. He is our expert in online monitoring system. SKF is well-known leading bearing business and manufacturer in the world. So, to saving our time, we will present our technical article which we entitle Optimization Staker Reclaimer Slowing Bearing Assessment in Mechanical Inspection Combining with Advanced Technology of Vibration Analysis. Okay, as we all know that the stacker reclaimer is very important and critical asset in power generation application and the heart of the machine is the slowing bearing slowing bearing itself is characteristic in accordance with the internal shape of the design which has been adapted to the need and operating condition of the machine because of its large and complex size the difficulty level is very high of for maintenance purposes so, to perform maintenance inspection tasks, special knowledge and expertise is needed in terms of bearing design, characteristic, condition monitoring method, and analysis. We are, as a bearing company, uh, have special abilities in terms of the design and technology monitoring. And we are highly appreciated because we are trusted to carry out a live assessment of slowing bearing at stack reclaimer for further improvement plan. Some objective expected from this project are identifying the current condition of the slowing ring and simultaneously we are asked to make the best SOP for the implementation of technical inspection and condition monitoring. This slowing ring has been in fact already operated for almost 20 years and is expected to be operational for 15 more years. So it is quite tough for SKF which expected to be able for scientifically formulated whether the slowing ring is still visible or how many the remaining life and how to optimize the remaining life. So, before we go further, we did a site survey of this application and we identified of some existing problem, namely high maintenance and repair costs, high machinery downtime costs, etc. All data we collected to equip us for further comprehensively study and analysis. Then we also study some literature to uh, find out about product specification, general guideline for handling and installation. There are also several technical studies to perform condition monitoring on slowing ring application using vibration monitoring and lubrication analysis which have done by someone else. So, in this case, we are giving a new breakthrough by combining the strength of our knowledge in slowing ring design, application, condition monitoring, so that very comprehensive study and analysis is created to determine the visibility and prediction of the remaining life of this slowing ring. The methodology that we do is divided into five stages where the first and most critical step that must be done is checking the port. Why? This is very important to do ensure 
the selling ring is in safe condition for inspection and another step can be done after that and the most critical part for this uh, method is on the last last step that we take vibration measurement using both of line with SKF micro lock and online with the MX16 multi channel where the aim was to obtain comparative and valid data so from the result of the inspection we have carried out uh, finding uh, obtained as material for our analysis the first is the condition of the pole where only 11% of the pole from inner side and 3% the pole from uh, outer side have looseness problem so we took uh, two pole nut and washer as a sample and uh, Consider that the rest of the pool, more than 70% of the pool still in good condition, then the inspection process can be continued, otherwise the completion must be done first. Then the fact finding, we also checking the condition of drop head and loofing. And in principle, the value is still within the allowable wear limit of the slowing ring component after that we check the gear condition and we found that the backlash value already 0.8 but this is still within the recommended limit for the gear module of that size okay and then we also taking a uh, sample crease from 6.8 measurement and we got the data that uh, some contamination uh, already exists there but according to the uh, uh, standardization for the contamination level uh, it is also still in the limit uh, below the limit and also we recognize that the chromium as the important element of the bearing the value is uh, quite low so then uh, we consider the bearing wear on this case is uh, quite low then we also checking the fitting of the crease for the existing automatic lubrication to check this is already matched with the size of the bearing operating condition and other requirement SKF has a sophisticated software we call Dialset to calculate uh, very fast and accurately uh, the crease amount and interval so then the last step uh, we did the vibration measurement and also analysis and from the spectrum that occur and accurately determine the indication symptom of bearing friction and wear which is in value are still small and within safe limit and from the spectrum data we process and correlate with other findings to justify the current condition of slowing bearing theoretically based on the data provided we can calculate the bearing life for this application design and by comparing the actual condition we can mathematically estimated the remaining life expectancy but to find out the real condition in this operation it is necessary to carry out periodic inspection and it will be much more accurate to know the real life condition of the slowing ring by installing an online system so then uh, according to all fact finding above then uh, we conclude that the slowing ring with part number LT 30.3825.00A0-1-85 in this application is still quite safe and feasible to operate but periodic inspection every 6 months must be still carried to see the trending condition of the slowing ring we hope that this presentation 
can contribute to the engineering work and improving method practice in industrial work in particular. Thank you very much for your attention and see you.